I guess this is the last one. The Lord will be Israel's shepherd. Yep. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. <clears throat> prophesy and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. Woe to you, shepherds of Israel, who take care of yourselves. Should ye not your shepherds should not shepherds take care of their of the flock? <coughs> you eat the curds, close yourselves with the wool, and slaughter the choice animals, but you do not take care of the flock, you have not strengthened the weak, or healed the sick, or bound up the injured. You have not brought back the stray or searched for the lost. You have ruled them harshly and brutally. Hmm. I wonder who will search for the lost. Who will leave the 99 for that one? So they will scatter because there was no shepherd and they were scattered because food for all the wild and, and no scattered they became and when they were scattered they became food for all the wild animals my sheep wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill they were scattered over the whole earth and no one searched or looked for them therefore you shepherds hear the word of the lord As surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, because my flock lacks a shepherd, and so has been plundered, and has become food for all the wild animals, and because my shepherds did not search for my flock, but cared for themselves rather than my flock, therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am against the shepherds, and will hold them accountable for my flock. Oh my God. Oh, I will remove them from t treading the flock so that the shepherds can no longer feed themselves. <coughs> no tending. Oops. I will reduce, I will rescue my flock from their mouse. And it will no longer be food for them, for this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I myself will stretch for, search for my sheep and look for them. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so I will look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on a day of clouds and darkness, I will bring them out from the nations and gather them from the countries. I will br no, and I will bring them into their le own land. <coughs> I will pasture them on the mountains of Israel, in the ravines and on all of the settlements of in the land I will tend them in the pat in a good pasture and no and yeah and the mountain high of Israel will be their grazing land they will lie down in good grazing land and there they will feed in a rich pasture on the mountains of Israel I myself will tend my sheep and they no and have them lie down, declares the sovereign Lord. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. I will bite up the injured and strengthen the weak. <coughs> but sleek but the sleek and strong will I will destroy 
but to slick in the strong I will destroy. I will shepherd the flock with justice. As for you, my flock, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will judge you between one sheep and another, and between the rams and goats. It is not enough for you, is it not enough for you to feed on good pasture? Must you also trample the rest of your pasture with your feet? Is it not enough for you to drink clean water? Must you also muddy the rest of your with your feet? You must must my flock feed on what you have trampled and drink what you have muddied with your feet? Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says to them. See, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. Because you shove with flanks and soldiers, bleating all the weak sheep, butting all the weak sheep with your horns until you have driven them away, I will save my flock. They will no longer be plundered. I will judge between the between one sheep and another. I will place the over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he will tend over them. He will tend them and be their shepherd. I the Lord will be their God. Yes. And my servant David will be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. Yes, you have. I will cover. No, I will convert. Convent. A pl place with them. And ride. And rid the land of savage beasts. So that they may live in the wilderness. And sheep and sleep in the wilderness and safety. I will make them in the places surrounding my hills be a blessing. There's no be. Oh well. I will send my sh showers in season. There will be showers a blessing. The trees will yield their fruit, and the ground will yield its crops. The people will be secure in their land. They will know that I am the Lord. When I break the bars of the yoke of their yoke and restore them from the hands of those who enslave them, they will no longer plunder the nations, nor will wild animals devour them. They will live in safety, and no one will make them afraid. I will provide them a land renowned for its crop, and they will no longer be victims of fame in the land to bear the scorn of the nations. <coughs> then they will know that I, the Lord, their God, yes, you and with them that they, the Israelites, are my people, declares the Sovereign Lord. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pastor. I am your God, yes, you are, declares the Sovereign Lord. So yeah, I had a weird dream where there's this person of ambiguous gender, and I was wondering if they were a boy or a girl, and way to see what bathroom they were using. I don't know why.